Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Marley, school bus is here. Marley, not kidding. School bus is here. Oh, man. I'm late. I'm late. I'm late. Okay. It's okay. I can still get to school on time. I think. I think. I think. All right. Um, I'm starving, so I've got to grab a muffin or something. Oh, man. I gotta eat a banana. Oh, well. I gotta eat something. Mm, that's good. Okay. I've got to fly out the door. I'm coming. I'm coming. Don't drive away without me. Oh, no. I forgot my backpack. Oh, man. I've almost forgot all of my homework. Wait. Now, where'd I put my backpack? Oh, my God. Where's my backpack? Ah! Bye, Molly. The sc school bus is leaving. Oh, man. I gotta walk to school. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna get detention. I'm gonna get expelled. This is so bad. Oh, wait. I know where I left my backpack. <laughs> what? I had to go to the bathroom and I did my homework while I was on the potty. <laughs> I call that multitasking. Oh, I made it in time. I can't even believe it right now. Hey, Molly. Nice of you to join us. Molly, you actually made it to school on time. Go you. Yeah, I don't even know how I did it because I got up late, the school bus left without me, then I forgot that my homework was in the toilet. What? Your homework is in the toilet? <laughs> yep, right in the toilet with the poo-poo. Molly! <laughs> Just kidding. I was by the toilet in my backpack because, um, well, I was in there and I just did my homework while I was on the toilet. Oh, Molly, too much information. I don't need to know that. Yeah, Molly, whatever. Huh. <sighs> All right, well, I'm here. I just have to go to my locker and get my um, my math book. Well, Molly, um, if you have to go to the bathroom, go now because I'm sure Mr. Smith's going to give us a pop quiz. Good point. Uh, yeah, I'd hate to have to go to the bathroom right in the middle of class. I'm trying to be a good student. I'm trying anyway. I didn't say I was going to be, but I'm trying. I did not want to take any chances in um, accidentally dropping my homework down the toilet. <laughs> Don't ask. That's actually happened to me before. So I decided to leave it outside the bathroom. And I can't have any accidents. Whose homework is this? Oh, it's Molly's. Wait, didn't the teacher say yesterday if she didn't hand in her homework, she would be expelled? Sarah, th th that's my homework. Give it to me. Not a chance, loser. See you. Sarah, give me that. That's my homework. I, I need that. Sarah. <laughs> See you later, loser. What? Did you just put that in the pizza? Oh, my gosh. Now I got to dig all the pepperoni off of it. Oh, this day is going terribly. Well, I guess I could just eat the pizza mm. and then find the homework inside of it. Mm. That pizza's good. Attention, students. Please remember that no students are allowed in the teacher's faculty room. No students are allowed. If you are caught in the teacher faculty room, dire cons consequen consequences, that's what I was trying to say, will happen. <laughs> the principal can't talk. He's totally tongue-tied. Mm. Wait, wait, I see my homework. I see it. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, I think I'll just take the elevator down because I don't have time to go all the way down the stairs and around and... Okay, the, the elevator just be faster. Ugh, this elevator is creepy. It's so dark in here. Ugh, I don't like it at all. No wonder students don't like to come in here and always say how it's haunted. Uh, uh, ah! What, 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 what was that? Oh my gosh. That was just my stomach. That sounded really creepy. Well, I should put my homework away in my backpack. That way nothing bad can happen to it. Uh... Ah! This elevator is haunted! 
Come on, come on, make it to the next floor. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. I think the elevator's jammed. Ah, let me out of here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, what are we gonna do? I'm stuck in an elevator, I'm stuck in an elevator. No, I'm gonna be late for class. Oh my gosh. Wait, I have my cell phone. I'll just text Daisy. What? No signal? Come on! Come on, what's wrong with this thing? Oh my gosh, this elevator has no signal. It's definitely haunted. Ah. Okay, I'm gonna stress eat right now. Mm. That pizza makes everything better. Uh, help me. Ah, did that ghost just say help me? Okay, I've gotta get out of here. What should I do? Um... I think the elevator shaft leads into the teacher's lounge. I'm not supposed to go into the faculty room, but this is an emergency. Well, I guess there's just one way, and that's down. Oh, whoa. This elevator shaft is so creepy. Okay, um, help me. Uh, I don't see anybody behind me because they're a ghost and I can't see them, but I can hear them, which is creepy enough. Oh my gosh. Wait, uh, um, do I go down or over? Well, I'm not sure I can even make it over. Okay, um, here we go. Oh, okay, I just gotta keep going. Oh my gosh, this is gonna lead right up to the teacher's lounge. I bet a million dollars. I've jammed that elevator good. Molly will definitely get expelled from school now. <laughs> Psst, Daisy. Yeah, look at what is it? Mr. Smith will be here any minute. Where's Molly? She had to go to the bathroom. Okay, but it doesn't take 40 minutes to go to the bathroom. Well, it hasn't been 40 minutes, but it has been a long time. Maybe I should go check on him. Yeah, I think we both should. Well, let's wait till Mr. Smith gets here so we can tell him that maybe she's sick or something. What? What? What is this place? This is the teacher's faculty room? It looks like Candyland! Holy guacamole! It's raining candy canes? OMG! This place looks amazing! Mmm, look at all those chocolates. Mmm, mmm! Hot chocolate in the fountains? Yes, please! Oh my gosh! Look at these rubber duckies! Oh, I have to stand on one. I have to stand on one. Uh oh, I'm too chubby. I can't get up there. Okay, let's try again. I am king of the world on this rubber ducky. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This one's making me a little bit seasick. Whoa. Oh man, someone spilled their ice cream. That's just sad. This place, though. Wait, why do I have an ice cream on my head? Okay, it must have rained ice cream, and now. Uh, I have ice cream on my head. What? Giant slices of pizza? Oh my gosh! This is the best day of my life. Mmm, this is so good. I can't even believe it. Oh, mmm, that is delicious. Mmm, mmm. I didn't take a piece to go. Well, rubber ducky, whoopsie. Mmm. No wonder the teacher always wants to hang out in the teacher's lounge. I would too. This place is amazing. Is that an ice cream truck? What? They have it so much better than the students. We don't ever get to have stuff like this. All we get is study hall and detention. Attention, students. There's been a security breach into the teacher's faculty room. We are sending in backup. What? What does that mean? Uh-oh. Sounds like I've been caught. Where can I hide? <gasps> Look at that gingerbread house. Maybe I can find a closet or something and, and hide in there. Ooh, gumdrops, mmm. I love gumdrops. Okay, let's see. Ah! What, what is that? Hello, I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> is he cooking up a mini Santa? No one can kill like the gingerbread can. Uh, is this the reinforcements they were talking about? can figure out where you are. It's time for you to die. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god! Oh my gosh, can you come out of the gingerbread house? Of course I can. 
You better run. Ah! Ah! Molly? Molly, are you in here? Oh boy, where did Molly go? She's probably just um sick because she ate like a big burrito for breakfast or something. No, she's not in either of the stalls. Where could she be? Molly, what's wrong? It looks like you just saw a ghost. Yeah, Molly, are you okay? Hi, hi, yeah. Molly, you're speaking gibberish. Uh, we told Mr. Smith you have a tummy ache. Yeah, Molly, do you? Or did you get a concussion? You're acting funny. Molly, calm down. What is wrong with you? There's something creepy in the elevator. Molly, students don't take the elevator. Only staff takes the elevator. Well, I needed to because I was in a hurry and I didn't think I could make it down the stairs in math class in time. Uh, Molly, it's not that far of a walk. It is when the Sarah the Bully tries to take your homework and makes you almost late. Well, Molly, you are very late. I know, that's because when I got in the elevator, there was a ghost. Whoa, that story is true. Yeah, she's like, help me, help me. Whoa, creepy. So then I went down the elevator shaft because the elevator got stuck. And, and I ended up in the teacher's, um, the teacher's lounge. The teacher's faculty room, Molly? Yeah, and it's nothing but a giant candy land. And there's pizza there, and there's lollipops, and candy canes rain from the sky. I even got an ice cream cone. What? You're not being honest. Yeah, Molly, that doesn't sound real. And then the teachers got mad because they knew that somebody was in there, and they sent this killer gingerbread man after me. Molly, I don't have time for this. It's time for math. Come on. I'm telling the truth. Wait, guys. Molly... This is quite the tall tale, even for you. But it, but it's true, Brookie! I have to get to class, Molly. You'll have to tell your fib to somebody else. Oh, nice of you to join us, Molly. Uh, how's your stomach? What? Oh, yeah, um, yeah, uh, it really hurt. That's okay, Molly, but do you have your homework? Actually, yes, I do. Wow, I'm impressed, Molly. Well, I guess you cannot have detention today. Oh, thank goodness. Something good happened after this awful and strange day. <laughs> oh, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah. I know about the teacher's lounge. Wait, what? what? I still have no idea what you're talking about. The killer gingerbread man? All the candy? Have you lost your mind? I know, teacher. I know. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Molly. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, guys. Um, Today I'm playing Mo's Academy, and it's asking me to choose my role. It gives you, like, student. It gives you um friendly and class clown which guys i want to pick class clown but i'm too poor i don't have any money for robux right now so i'm just gonna pick a student because um yeah i'm just i'm a nobody guys i'm a, <laughs> i'm a nobody all right let's go get on the bus and go to mo's academy omg i'm sitting next to a cow did you just call me a cow uh you're 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 wearing a cow you're wearing a cow mask Oh, yeah, I forgot I was wearing that. It's almost Halloween, you know. <laughs> totally. Um, but I'm not going to be a pink cow. I'm probably going to be like Chucky or something. Uh, I don't know why I'm playing a game about school, but I am because I want to. Even though school in real, real life can be super boring. Um, let's see. What's in my locker? There's not a sandwich in here? Oh, I'm so disappointed right now. Maybe there's a cupcake in this person's locker. <gasps> Wait, what's that? Is it a snack? Oh, no, it's just money. I can buy snacks with the money I find, though. <laughs> You're right, you guys. I always think about snacks all the time, every day, all day long. Maybe I should look at that garbage can. I wonder what's in there. I found a spitball straw. Okay, yuck. But could be used as a weapon. Math class is starting. Oh, wow. I'm so excited. Just kidding. I'm not excited at all. Head over before class begins. I guess I shouldn't be late on my first day at Mo Academy. Because that would be so bad, right? I would get detention. Good morning, class. 
Oh, well, she's super, super happy. Well, hopefully she'll um, lose a little bit of her happiness when she gives me detention. <gasps> I found an apple! Oh, man, an apple? Not like an apple pie? Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Maybe I could, um, yeah, like, I could, I could maybe save this and then um, give it to the teacher to, like, bribe her to let me out of detention. Welcome to math class. Take a seat at one of your desks to learn. Learning improves your mental well-being. Ha ha ha! I'm going to get everyone! Blah, 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 blah! Um, okay, that guy over there thinks he's a ninja. I have mental health powers! <laughs> and I eat healthy, too. So what are you? You're like part fox, part cow, with a wolf tail. Hey, don't judge. My Halloween costume's amazing. Alright, look at my brain, guys. My brain is getting so much bigger. Oh, yeah, I'm flexing my brain muscles. Oops, I flexed a little too hard. Ew, she farted. Sorry, uh, can I get out of here? Oh, good, I'm not locked in. Class is dismissed. The cafeteria has been open for all students. Oh, great, I'm starving. What do I got? Six bucks. What can I buy? What is that? Oh, a coffee. How healthy. <laughs> not Okay, well, um, now I spent all of my money on that, but whatever. I'm just I'm gonna have some coffee. Hiya! Hiya! Uh, Tartaloof, can you stop hitting my coffee? I need to drink this. It's all I get for lunch. I'm a ninja. Oh my gosh! The only people in my um cafeteria is this guy who thinks he's a ninja and cow fox, uh, wolf girl. My costume is awesome! I'm not picking on you. I'm just saying. You're a cow? Wolf? Okay, I don't know. I'm not making friends really good here right now. Reading class is starting. Okay, I'm good at reading. I'm good at reading. What do we have in here? Oh, we have a pet. Is that a hamster or a guinea pig? Oh my god! He's so cute! Oh, I'm gonna name him, um, uh, 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 uh. What's a good name for a hamster, guys? Tell me in the comment section below. I found a chicken? Like, seriously? That's a weird place for chicken. Hi, everybody. Take your seats, please. I have a hammer. <laughs> I'm like Thor right now. Yeah, Thor would be a much better uh, Halloween costume. Don't be rude. My costume's amazing. I know, I'm just saying, I like Thor. I'm so smart. Class is dismissed. I'm not. My brain is still stupid. What? What's going on here? Why can't my brain ever be smart? Bye, hamster. You don't have a name yet, but the Star Squad fans will tell me what you could be. And like what your name should be. Yeah, that's what I meant. All right. Um, Wait, can we just go home? Bye, everybody. I'll protect you in case there's something dangerous out there. Have you forgotten about your detention? Wait, what? Huh? What game? Huh? I didn't get detention. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, man. Just when I think I didn't get detention. But I have I have a spitball straw, so I can have some fun in detention. <laughs> they actually have a detention room here? Holy guacamole. This is serious. First, I need to raid this so I have some coffee. Because I'm probably going to be bored. I, mean, I need three coffees. Hey, quit stealing all the coffee. Oh, man. Look at frowny face on the board and everything. Welcome to detention. How come it's dark in here? Be quiet. Think about what you've done. I, what if I don't? I, I didn't do anything. Well, maybe it's just because you didn't like my costume. Um, I didn't say I didn't like your costume. No one said that. I'm the only good one that's like sitting in my chair. These two. These troublemakers over here. Look at these two troublemakers. I wonder where the teacher is. I guess we're on our own. Uh, all right, well, I'm just gonna eat a chicken leg and like drink some coffee. This looks like a strange book has been left on the teacher's desk. What? I can't hear you over my chewing. That book looks really funny. Maybe I should karate chop it. I'll hit it with Thor's hammer. Don't do any of those things. The tale of the psycho mascot? What's this? Well. I guess we can read it. Mo the mascot loves to play. 
Now school is over, it's the end of the day. It's time for students to head home. Okay, there's no pictures in this. Oh wait, there they are. But Mo the mascot will stay and roam. Misbehaved students stay after school. Wait, is, is that talking about me? This is when Mo becomes most cruel. Oh, what? He lacks a Cindy detention? Good thing this is just a story. The students run, be sure not to trip. Oh, but in the end, nobody can escape his grip. Um, what? Good thing I'm a ninja. I can protect us all. Yeah, right. I'm out of here. There have been rumors going around about the school mascot being evil. I wonder who wrote that book. I don't know, but I think we should leave. Maybe if we can ugh, get the door unlocked. Oh, wait, there we go. Well, our detention's over. It's time to leave. Good. That book really creeped me out. I want to get out of here. Hey, maybe you could dress up as Mo for Halloween. My costume's amazing, Molly. Wait. Is the door chained and locked? Oh my god. Everything that that happened in the story, it's coming true. Don't worry, I'm a ninja. I'll break it open. Uh, I hate to break this to you, but your banana is not going to break the lock. You are not a ninja. I think he really thinks he is a ninja. Mo has hidden three keys in the lockers throughout the school. Find them to open the main doors and escape. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. I'm super great at finding keys. Actually, no, I'm not. <gasps> Look at all these lasers. Mo is taking control of the school's security system. Holy guacamole. Good luck and be careful. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wait, you're not alone? Ah! Oh my god, that Mo character is creepy. All right, we've got to look for the keys, guys. Don't just stand there. I want my mommy. I thought you were a crazy ninja guy. I know, but I, I, I just, I want my mom. Oh my god, I just got hit by that laser and now I'm down five points. Ah! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh god. <laughs> Guys, Mo was standing in there. That was creepy. Ah, there's Mo again. All right, Mo, you psycho rabbit. Psycho rabbit hiding in the lockers. Psycho rabbit hiding in the lockers. Guys, if you want me to actually write a song about this and put it on the SoGeeky channel, let me know. Guys, I just found the green key. <gasps> Two more keys, guys, and we are out of here. If I can manage to survive, I have no Robux, so, um, guys, if I die, I'm dead. I can't drink my coffee. I don't know why. I'm so thirsty. I thought it would help boost my health, but nope. Nope, and nope, and also a whole lot of nope. Great job. All the keys have been found. May you make your way to the exit and leave. Huh, this is the best news ever. I guess I wasn't the only one looking for keys, which was a good thing. Oh, my gosh. My mental health is so bad right now. I just need to make it. I need to make it out of the school. I can't die in detention, guys. I can't. It'll say on my tombstone, Molly was the worst student on the entire planet. <laughs> oh my gosh, the cow, wolf, fox girl. She's already out of here. All right. That guy's running backwards. He wants to see where he's already gone. <laughs> Holy guacamole. We made it out in one piece. Wait, are we, are we back in school? Good morning and welcome back to school. Your first class will begin shortly. Oh, gosh. We're back in school again? All right. Well, this is okay because I'm just, my mental health is horrible, guys. That's because that Mo character is creepy and jumped out at me. Scared me after death. Glug, 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 glug. Ugh. Ugh. I had to down some coffee. I'm exhausted. I had nightmares all night last night about that crazy Mo guy. Maybe I should have spit a spit wad at him or something. That would have been funny. There is literally nothing in any of these lockers. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I just got, I found some money, guys. And a chicken leg. Computers class is starting. Head over there before it begins. Who's that guy at the gym? 
He's just standing there staring at us. Computer class? Awesome! Welcome to Musical Lockers. Green, blue, green. Alright guys, that was so easy. Ooh, yellow, blue, red, blue, yellow. Uh, yellow, blue, red, blue, yellow. Oh, we got money! Yellow, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, green. Okay, I'm trying to memorize this, guys. I'm trying to memorize it. Did I do it? Oh my god, guys, I'm making so much money. Red, green, yellow, blue. Yellow, green, blue. Um, is it cheating to take a picture on my phone? <laughs> I might, though, guys. I might. I win? Oh, whoa! I'm not as stupid as I thought. <laughs> I'm actually pretty smart. Hey, teacher, you should give me an A. I did really good. Class is dismissed. Lunch will start soon. Guys, I have $16, so I can actually afford lunch today. Give me your lunch money if you want to get passed. What? No, I'm not going to give you my lunch money. Pfft, whatever. I'm going over to the other side of the school. I'm going to go in the cafeteria. I'm going to eat something delicious. And I'm not going to give that bully any of my money. Ooh, what's that, cheese? Oh, yeah. I'll take one of those. Mm. And I'll have a coffee. And that's about all I can afford. Here comes the ninja. Oh, he was the scaredest one of all when Mo came um, around. Hopefully I don't get detention tonight, though. Oh, my gosh. Something crazy is about to happen. Oh, it's the football team. And the captain looks angry. Uh-oh. Why? Did we eat the last cheese? <laughs> hey. Someone stole something from my locker. Now you're going to pay the price. Um, it, it wasn't me. I don't believe you. Get him. Oh, whoa, there's a ton of football players in here. Uh, and all I have is a spit wad straw, but that's okay. This is gross, and I'll take you guys down with it. Whoa! Oh, whoa! Ah! Oh my gosh, please don't kill me. No, don't kill me! All right, my spit wads are doing absolutely nothing, guys. I'm just trying not to die. I'm literally trying not to die right now. My mental health is so bad. Whoa, they're everywhere! Oh, ow! You knocked me right on my butt. Ouch! Holy guacamole! Alright, I'm spitting spit wads at him, guys. It's actually kind of working. Take that! Take that! Ew, that's disgusting! One hit me right in the eye! <laughs> oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Guys, I gotta run. I gotta run. These football players are, like, running out plays, like, right in the middle of the cafeteria. Oh, my gosh, guys. My brain is about to melt. Look at my mental health. It's so, so bad. Whoa. All right, I can make this. I can make this. Oh, God. There's another football player. These guys are rude. I'm telling your coach. Take that and take that. Oh, man. He's after me, guys. All right, it's all right. It's all right. Oh, we took a bunch of them down already. Oh, my gosh. Who's going to win? Is it going to be me or is it going to be them? I'm not really sure. Oh, Oh my gosh, we almost, guys, we've almost taken them down. Eve died, oh no! Poor Eve. She didn't even get to go to Halloween. Oh man, the spitballs are making his head spin around backwards. Ha ha ha. That's what you get. Oh, the ninja's taking him down. Go, ninja. Did we get him? Yeah. Did I get any money? Because I really want more cheese. That was close. We should probably get out of here. Yeah, Ninja, you're probably right. Let's go. I never thought I'd be so glad to see history class, but I need to get my mental health up so I don't die. Guess what I found, guys? A baseball bat. Bum, bum, bum. All right, school's over, and I'm sure I didn't get detention today, guys. I was such a perfect student. Ah, I see the exit. It's right there. Yippee! I can't wait to go home and have a snack. Sorry, but your detentions are not finished yet. What? Uh, but, uh, but I didn't do anything to get detention! This is so wrong. 
Mo is probably roaming through the halls right now. Maybe we can avoid him by finding another way out, Molly. Maybe, but um, I'm not so sure about that. I think there's only one entrance and one exit out of detention. Oh, maybe we could jump out the window or something. What? To our death? Are you crazy? Uh, well, maybe that is the only way. Do you have a rope? Maybe we could climb down. Okay, that window is locked. That window is locked. Oh, look! This isn't so high off the ground as I thought. Come on, Ninja! Let's get out of here! It may be a good idea to have some fun decompress, and especially after that fight earlier. Um, no, I just want to escape this school, but... Oh, look at the swings! That looks pretty fun. Whee! Ha ha ha! Ah, Mo, you can't get me now. Look at me, Molly! I'm over here! Ha ha ha! Whee! The horsey giving me a ride! <laughs> the ninja is kind of crazy, but he's my friend. Okay, I'll ride the horses with you. hunt yesterday. How about we play hide and seek tonight? <laughs> okay, your voice is really annoying, just so you know. What? How could you say that to me? I'm such a cute little bunny. <laughs> yeah, it was missing half its teeth. Holy guacamole. You ever brush those things? Probably not. All right, I'm supposed to be playing hide and seek with this evil Mo guy. Um, oh, it's saying go this way. Let me in! All right, guys, I can't seem to get in there. I don't know why. It's saying I should go this way, but I guess I'm too fat for eating too many cupcakes or something. I don't know. Let me try to find a different way. Can I go back in the classroom and hide? No. Okay. Um, duh. Do we have to go down the slide to get in it or something? I don't know. Holy guacamole! Guys, I think I'm just in trouble because I can't go in this tube and I'm supposed to go in there to hide and it won't let me, so... Uh, I don't know what to do because I feel like Mo is just gonna get me. What? Why am I flying through outer space? Guys, uh, did I just die? What? What is going on right now? Is that a glitch in the game? I don't even know. I think it definitely was. Like, I'm back inside the school. No one's in here, though. Weird. Welcome back to school. Be careful. There seems to be a lot of bullies roaming the halls today. Guys, there was a glitch in the game and I survived. I didn't even have to play hide-and-seek with that creepy Mo guy. Oh my gosh, he's like... Okay, the ninja and the bully are fighting... I have a baseball bat. Sorry about this, but kathunk, you're out of here. All the bullies look exactly the same. Oh, I think they might be robots. They're definitely robots. Take that. Okay, guys, it looks like your exams from last week have finally been graded. Flip over yours to see your score. An A+. Plus? Whoa, <laughs> this is definitely a Roblox game because that's not real life. <laughs> not in math class. Class is dismissed. <sighs> oh, no. Not more bullies. Come on, guys. Leave us alone. We just want to go to the cafeteria and have some lunch. Chill out. You know, the mascot's been, like, turned evil and has been attacking us in detention, which all of you guys deserve. You all deserve detention. For reals. Hi, guys. Welcome to science class. <laughs> now, come on. Let's see if you can mix these together and blow up the school like my last class did. Um, uh, well, I can try for sure. If you actually do, <laughs> I'm going to take points away from your mental health. Oh, my gosh. That's horrible. <laughs> um, yeah, I made a huge explosion. <laughs> the only thing that explodes more than that is my farts. <laughs> okay, this class is actually kind of fun. I can get down with science. Cool. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Oh, Molly, he's taking points away from your mental health every time you make a mistake. 
Um, okay, yeah, I'm totally failing science. Failing it! Oopsie. How about this combination? Do, 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 do. Here you go, Mr. Professor. Very good, Molly. Boy, I was a little worried that your brain was actually functioning there. It functions. It's just kind of, well, uh, slow. <laughs> Once I get it, though, I get it forever. Oh, my gosh. These bullies are so annoying. Come on, Molly. Let's go home. School bus is right outside. Didn't you remember? We have detention one more night. Ugh, one more detention left. They boarded up the windows. Rude. Now we can't escape. <laughs> Molly, wake up. Seems Mo has boarded up the windows to prevent us from escaping again. We have no choice but to leave detention through the hallway. Oh, what? I was just taking a nap. Ugh, oh, detention. Boring. Be careful. Mo is lurking. If you see him, hide, Molly. You're not a, a ninja like me. You have no skills. Okay, fine. I can always hide in this in this locker if I need to. Oh my god, there he is. Uh-oh. Yep, need to get inside the locker. And quick! Guys, here he comes. <laughs> Where is that student, Molly? She's so annoying. Oh my gosh. He even says I'm annoying. Rude. I've got a flask, though, guys, that I made in science class. And um, I can throw it if I need to. And I plan on it. Wait, did I just escape? Come on, Molly. Let's run home. Wait, what? What? <laughs> did you think you were going to escape? <laughs> I don't think so. Students, did you really think you could escape me? <laughs> this mascot is super annoying. We should make rabbit stew. I've decided we should play one last game together before you finish your detentions. This one's called Fight to the Dead. Oh, glad. I'm glad you mentioned that because I think you'd make delicious rabbit stew. <laughs> Okay, Ninja, let's do this. First of all, I'm going to throw this flask at you, and it's probably going to hurt a lot. Whoa, Ninja's taking that rabbit down. <laughs> oh, man, he, like, burned under the ground. All right, t the, the, the um, flask that I threw at him was kind of poisonous, so that was cool. Um, Let's see if I can get closer to him, though. Oh, my gosh. And throw some spit wads at him. Nobody likes spit wads. All right, bunny. You're one naughty rabbit. <laughs> You'll never catch me. I'm as fast as can be. Mo, you're just like the worst mascot ever. All right, time to bring out the baseball bat. Rabbit stew it is. Right, ninja? I'm losing my strength, Molly. You might have to go on without me. What? No. Ninja, I need you. Oh, every time we try to get him, he just throws under the ground. If I die right now after playing this game for 30 minutes, I'd be really angry. <laughs> and, but then I'm going to go eat a cupcake and probably feel better. He's throwing carrots at us. Seriously, they're like carrot bombs. <laughs> Crazy. 
perfect. But I can't hit him either, so it looks like neither one of us can win. What? No! You're supposed to die! Well, not today, Rabbit. Not today. Make sure you guys are listening to Molly. I don't know why you get to be in charge. You're the most immature of us all. Daisy, be quiet. I'm in charge and I'm telling you, shh. Girls, be nice to each other. Your mom and I don't get a date night very often and I don't want to get a call on my phone that you guys aren't getting along. We'll get along, Dad. Bye. I I cannot believe what Brittany just said to Sadie. I know, right? Brookhaven High is getting crazy. I Okay, well, we have to go and get her a diaper at some point. Yeah, in a minute, I want to watch this show. I go poo-poo, dude. I go poo-poo. How about you go poopy in the potty? You know, like a big kid. No, I wear a diaper forever. Ay, ay, ay. Well, I'm going to eat some popcorn. Mmm, this is delicious. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, popcorn and uh, a snack too. Okay, you can have some too. Here you go. Oh, you got popcorn. Mmm. So good. <laughs> oh, that hurt my tummy. OMG. Having a baby sister is a lot of work. What was that? I didn't hear anything, Molly. Okay, I'm turning down the TV because I definitely heard something at the back door. There it is again. Whoa, well, I heard it that time, too. It sounded really creepy. I wish Mom and Dad were home. I pray I check what it is. No, Baby Kara, we're... Baby Kara, no! We're all going to go together. I want to go. I think it sounds super creepy, Molly. Let Baby Kara. And that's why I was left in charge. Because you're going to send our little sister to see if there's somebody outside? Creepy! She's too little for that. Come on, we're going to all go together. Fine. But I hope it's not like a boogaloo or something. They're going to rob all the money from our safe. And then we can't go on our trip to Florida. It's going to be fine, Daisy. It's probably just the wind. See, I told you guys, nobody there. Oh, boy. That was a little creepy. Whoa, the lights just went out. They're flickering. Oh, my gosh. It's definitely somebody breaking in. No, Daisy, it's... Daisy! It's not somebody breaking in. I think it's just the power's going to go out because it's really windy. Probably the trees are scratching against the house, making a really creepy sound. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm still going back upstairs. Yeah, I think we should, but I think everything's going to be fine. No one's breaking into the house or anything like that. Okay, well, let's just watch a movie. Or we can watch the rest of Brookhaven High. I heard the Brookhaven High! Yeah, let's watch the rest of Brookhaven High. This episode is crazy! Uh, Baby Kara, did you eat all the popcorn? Yeah, I did. Oh, baby Kira! Don't you have to go poo poo? Oh, well, let me know when you do and we'll change your diaper. Yeah, baby Kira. Or you could go in the party chill. No party! Okay, no party. There's that sound again. I know, Riley. I heard it too. But like you said, there's a storm that's going to happen outside, so the wind is really high. So it's probably just trees scratching against the house. Sounds like it's getting closer. Hmm, is it. At the front door? I don't... Wait a minute. What? What? Ah! Guys! There's a monster! It's at the, 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 the front door! What? What are you talking about? Like, don't prank me right now. Ah! She's not pranking! Everybody run to the panic room! Yeah, panic room! Good idea! <sighs> did you see that monster out there? I sure did, Molly. That was insane! Wait a minute. Where's Baby Kira? Oh my god! She didn't make it into the panic room! What? Baby Kira? Baby Kira? I had to buy it. I had to buy it. Oh, Baby Kira, I'm so glad to see you. I was so worried that the monster got you. Thank goodness Dad's a cop, so he is a bit paranoid about someone breaking into the house. Yeah, good thing he was. That monster would have gotten us if we hadn't had this t um, bunker to stay in. Yeah, uh, this panic room is definitely worth it. Well, I don't know if there's any snacks in here, but there's a bathroom and beds. What? No snacks? Don't worry, I have a uh, Reese's in my pocket. 
Mighty Seal! Everybody might be hungry, or better yet, save it in case we're in here for a long time. Well, eventually our parents will come home. They'll see the monster and... And get kidnapped by the monster! We have to call somebody! Um, that's just the thing. I forgot my cell phone on the couch. Oh, brother! And mom left you in charge! What was she thinking? I think I'm a I think I'm a boy, I think I'm a boy. What? Baby Kira, use your words. I'm not afraid because the monster can get us in here. Molly, do you hear that weird sound again? I do. What, what do you think it could be? I got a little boy in your monster. What? Ah! He's trying to break into the panic room! Okay, let's just go over here, guys. Let's go over here. Uh, Molly, we could use a taser gun on him. No, I'm not going to open the door. That would be silly. We're, we're safe in here, right? Oh, no, but uh, I, I think so. Monster, what do you want from us? Uh, something tells me he doesn't speak English. Um, do you speak any language besides monster? Nope! Okay, well, I guess we're stuck in here. What if mom and dad don't come home for a bit of long time and the monster figures out how to get into a panic room? I don't think that can happen. This was built by the professionals, overseen by our dad, a police officer. He knows how to make a, pa a panic room safe. I just want mom and I have no way to tell her we're in here. Okay, DC, it's going to be fine. Dad's a cop. When he sees the monster, he'll know exactly what to do. I hope so, Molly. This is freaking me out. I like Mantos. Mantos nice. No! Monster is not nice, baby Kira. Monster's me! I like Mantos nice. Okay, where is the monster? Is he still there? Oh my god, he's still... Baby Kira, do not open the door! <sighs> well, I locked it so she can't. Good thing, Molly, because she thinks monsters are nice. That's it! We're never getting out of here! We're gonna be stuck in the panic room forever! But eventually, Mom and Dad will come home from their date, right? Uh, I hope so. Why are you running in circles? Because I'm bored and I want to get out of here! Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. We'll be friends. Baby Kira, I told you already. The monster can't come in here. No, I go out to monster. What? But I locked the door! Oh, Baby Kira, you scared me. Baby Kira, what? Oh my god, Daisy, we have a problem. Huh. Baby Kira just went down the escape hatch. What? Are you serious? That's a one-way exit. This means that, that she's going to be out there with the monster. Oh my gosh, this is so bad. No, monster, you stay away from my baby sister. Hi, monster. I come see you. Bye. Hi, monster. <laughs> ah, baby Kira, run. Oh my gosh, babies are adorable, but not that smart when they're little. <laughs> they are constantly trying to get into harm's way. <laughs> Baby Kira! Okay, I don't want to have to do this, but I'm going to have to. Calling in the big dogs. Daisy, what are you doing? I'm freaking out! <laughs> Daisy, I need your help! Okay, she's going to be useless. i got to unlock this door. i got to unlock it. Why can't I unlock the door? Okay, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna tease you, monster! Whee! Monster fun! Get piggyback ride! Wait, what? Ha ha ha! Ha I babysit! Wait, what? You you just wanted to babysit? I like kids. They're nice. Wait, you look creepy though! Hold still, I still gotta tease you! Da! Don't tease my friend! Monster nice! Monster not doing anything wrong! Okay, I'm totally confused right now. Why do you make all those weird sounds? Because he's a monster, we can't help it. I put my hands out to arrest. I'm not going to arrest you, baby Kira. But I may arrest this monster just because he's real creepy. What's going on out here? Why is baby Kira hanging out with the monster? Well, if you had paid attention, uh, instead of having your little moment of scaredy catness. Is that even a word, scaredy catness? No, it's not a word. Um, you would know that baby Kira has befriended the monster. Uh, this seems bad, Molly. Really bad. I like Monto, Monto Knight. Whee! I'm not me. I just love me. Don't judge book by its cover. 
Oh, well, uh, I'll have to ask Mom and Dad if you can babysit. I'll be right back. I've got to get my cell phone. Well, it never fails, Molly. We always get a call on our date night. What is it? Ah, uh, this time it's really important. Um, uh, Molly, there's more popcorn in the pantry. No, uh, it's really important, Dad. The diapers are in baby Kira's, uh, her in her nursery. Honey, come on. Let's go play this game next. Are you guys at the arcade without us? Uh, no, uh, uh, yeah. What? You went to Dave and Buster's without us? That's so not fair. Marty, tell him what's going on. Okay, um, there was a monster at the door, and he seemed really mean, so we went into the, um, panic room. Baby Kira escaped, you know, I'm sorry, I did my best, but she's kind of a troublemaker. What? What are you talking about, a monster? We're gonna come home immediately. Oh, but I wanted to play this game. Laura, the kids are in trouble. No, no, not necessarily. Uh, Baby Kira got out and found out that the monster is actually really nice. He'd like to know if he could babysit us. Well, I mean, we could stay, stay at Dave and Buster's if he's trustworthy, that is. Yeah, that's true, and I didn't play this new Star Wars game yet. Ooh, it looks so fun. Dad! Um, I don't know. A monster babysitting you seems like a bad idea. You're still in charge, Molly, and we'll be home in about 15 minutes. Okay. Sorry, my parents said no. What? Why does everyone judge me? Don't worry, Mato. You can come for dinner. Yeah, you can still come for dinner. My parents just have to be there to meet you first because, well, you're a monster, and we have to make sure you're not a mean monster, but a nice monster. Okay. When's dinner? Tomorrow, four o'clock. Yeah, we'll make pizza. Wait, do monsters eat pizza? Of course. Delicious. <laughs> See you then. time is it? 9.38? Whoa, I slept so late. Who are you? Why are you in my room? Uh, I accidentally got lost because, uh, my house is kind of next to yours and I accidentally went in the wrong door. Um, okay, well, follow me. I'll help you get out, okay? Here you go. Bye-bye. ay 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 I hope nobody left the front door open. <laughs> More people would just randomly be coming into my house. Kind of crazy. Um, I wonder if Daisy's awake yet and what she wants to do today. Daisy, Daisy, Daisy. Molly, you are seriously the loudest person ever in the morning. Who, me? Hey, that guy's running around our car outside still. Yeah, Molly, you. What are you talking about? Some guy running around outside. There was this um, there was this other guy that was in my room this morning, and because he moved into the house next door, and he accidentally went into the wrong house. Oh, <laughs> Molly, that's funny. That happens to me in Roblox sometimes too. Yeah, I let him out. I was like, "Have a good day. Welcome to the neighborhood." <laughs> Molly, that's funny. Anyway. Um, I was wondering what you wanted to do today, Daisy. Oh, we can't do too much out of the house today, Molly. Why not, Daisy? Why not? Because uh, we uh, we have a babysitter. What? A babysitter? Is that him? Look, he's, he looks like a leprechaun. Oh, no, Molly. We don't have a leprechaun as a babysitter. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, hopefully it's not that one babysitter that I don't like very much that, like, makes us do homework. Ooh, she was a terrible babysitter. Who makes you do homework in the summer? Yeah, and even you like homework and you didn't like it. I didn't like it at all, Molly. Nope, nope, nope. I kind of wish that our babysitter today was Grandma. Did Mom say who our babysitter was? Nope, she didn't say, Molly. She just said the babysitter will be in ten here in ten minutes. Don't get into trouble. <laughs> well, not me. I never get into trouble. <laughs> yeah, boy, Molly. <laughs> yeah, boy, you never get in trouble. Now stop playing with my toys. Okay, okay. Wonder what's for breakfast. We can't eat breakfast until the babysitter gets here. Okay, well, let's watch the brightly colored unicorn until the babysitter gets here. Okay, Molly. Ooh, it's a new episode. I know. I absolutely love this show. Have I mentioned that? I think about 400 times. 
Good morning! Oh, this must be the- Oh, babysitter is a zombie! What? A babysitter is a zombie! Ah, run, Daisy, let me in! Open the door, Daisy! Ah, Daisy! Oh my gosh, no, Granny! Uh, no one's home. I turned out the lights so you can't see anything. Daisy, hide. Hide over here. There's definitely a zombie. Come in the bathroom. I'm gonna hide in the shower. She won't be in there. Molly, why are you taking a shower? I didn't mean to turn on the light. Or, I mean, on the water. Hopefully, she doesn't come in here. Molly, seriously, get out of my shower. Okay, fine. Ah! She's at the bathroom door! <laughs> Can't believe there's a zombie here. I'm pretty sure that Mom wouldn't have hired a zombie to babysit us. <gasps> Where is the real babysitter, then? I don't know, Molly. I don't know. Okay, well, I'm going to open the door, Daisy, and see if she's still there. Be careful, Molly. Be careful. She's gone, Daisy. Come on. Now's our chance to escape. she in the closet? No. Daisy, I don't see the zombie babysitter anywhere. Maybe she's in the hot tub, Molly. Daisy, the babysitter's not in the hot tub. Ay, ay, ay. Ah! The... The zombie babysitter is making us breakfast? What do you guys like to eat? Oh, very good question. I bet you're, since you're a zombie, all you like to eat is brains. Brains. Molly, I think that that new neighbor is lost again. He's running around in the backyard. Well, he should be glad that he doesn't live here. Because there's definitely a zombie with a cat? What zombie likes cats? I don't know, Molly. That zombie appeal in me. And what zombie makes what zombie makes eggs and and bacon? And this zombie is actually kind of cool. Molly, don't say that. Well, you're the one sitting at the breakfast table. Are you hungry or something? Well, I know that she's a zombie babysitter, but you know I am kind of hungry. So, Daisy, are you crazy? We can't eat breakfast that a zombie is made. Why not? It smells delicious. Because, Daisy, it's a zombie! A zombie will try to get us! She seems pretty nice. I mean, look at that cat. That cat is super happy. Mm, this is delicious. Daisy, don't eat that! A zombie made it! Are you crazy right now? Just about crazy, Molly, because I'm hungry. Hey, guys, is anybody home? Hello? Ah! Don't come in here, Brianna! There's a zombie in here! Oh, my gosh! Do you guys need help? No, we just need everybody to stay safe. Hey, you guys want to come out and play? Oh my gosh, there's a zombie in your house! I know, tell me about it. We have to get rid of this zombie babysitter. Wait, the zombie is your babysitter? Um, <laughs> Cookie fan, fan Brianna? What? You're laughing at the fact that my babysitter is a zombie? <laughs> well, it is kind of funny. No, no it's not. Okay, you guys eat up your breakfast. Mmm, this looks delicious, Molly. I'm definitely eating all of this. No, Daisy, just no. Yes, Molly, I'm totally going to. Daisy, are you crazy? Why are you dancing? Uh, I meant to point at you, but I accidentally hit the dance button instead. <laughs> Molly. I'm trying to sit down, but I can't. Okay, there we go. Drink that juice, Molly, it's good. I don't know. A zombie babysitter made this. I don't know. Glug, 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 glug. Mm. It's actually pretty good. And actually, I'm super hungry. So, I don't really even care if a zombie made it. Told you, Molly. It's super delicious, right? Yeah, it's pretty good. Ooh, bacon and eggs. I love that. Mmm. Time to do some cleaning. <laughs> you love to clean, don't you, Sir Meows, a lot? Hey, what are you doing in here? I'm trying to save you from this zombie. Me? Save a zombie? What, what, what are you guys talking about? Wait a minute. That sounds a lot like grandma. Yeah. What'd you do with my grandma? Why do you sound like her? Molly, I am your grandma. No, you're not. You're a zombie. What are you girls talking about with all these zombies? I thought you were just making believe, but now I think you really think that I'm a zombie. Of course we think you're a zombie. Look at yourself in the mirror. Yeah, go in the bathroom and look at yourself. Um, okay. 
Can't believe I have a zombie babysitter that doesn't even know she's a zombie. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Why are you laughing, zombie babysitter? Daisy, get in here! The zombie's going crazy! Uh, Marty, I don't know if I want to. Yes, you have to. I don't know what to do with this crazy babysitter zombie. Oh, girls, I'm not a crazy zombie babysitter. <laughs> this is just my mask that I bought for Halloween. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> I am your grandmother. I just, I got my mask for Halloween in the mail and I tried it on and I forgot to take it off. Well, take it off, Granny. It looks super weird. Is that better, girls? Do, do I look like your grandma now? Grandma! Oh, I'm so glad to see you. Me too, Grandma! I thought you were a zombie baby siddle. It was just weird. Oh, girls, I, I'd never be a zombie babysitter. I just want to be a zombie for Halloween. Isn't that right, Sir Meows a lot? Maybe your cat should be a zombie too, Grandma. Oh, that's a great idea! What do you think, Sir Meows a lot? We could both be zombies! I think that would be such a funny Halloween costume for a cat. <laughs> hey, Toy Hero fans. Wasn't it crazy that we thought we had a zombie babysitter today? I mean, seriously, it was my grandma all along. She had just bought her zombie mask and forgot to take it off. Silly grandma. <laughs> Guys, if you loved this video, come on, give us a big thumbs up slam that like button guys it makes us so happy and guys i have to go talk to some fans outside because literally they are like trying to break into my house guys don't you know we're trying to make a video here you kind of look like a leprechaun but that's cool <laughs> we love all our fans guys including you guys watching at home um you are the most fa amazing fans ever even this leprechaun guy just kidding actually he's wearing black pants and he's wearing a green shirt but it always reminds me of like St. Paddy's Day or something when I see people wearing like a green hat and a green shirt. <laughs> all right Toy Hero fans don't forget to subscribe to all three of our channels The Toy Heroes, The Toy Heroes Games and Gaming with Daisy. Where is Daisy? Daisy? Daisy where are you? I've been here Molly. I'm talking to some fans and stuff. Oh, okay, Daisy's busy talking to fans. Hey, this guy's in my house again! Hi, wee, wee! You live next door! Oh, yeah, yeah, these fans are crazy. Okay, guys, we'll see you next time. Bye! Hey, Luke, when are you gonna be home for dinner? Oh, hey, Mom. I'm um, going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless and, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey, Luke, I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about um, how you were going to go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Aw, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. Ugh, they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. 
Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I'll, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days? Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just saying, that's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh... Um, yeah, um... <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but... I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. Aww. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah! Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here, that sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> um, either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. <laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house, and boom! It'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la! I'm so happy! Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my god, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best. Love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic. Seriously. <laughs> Ooh, I was so excited I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> Oh, brother, yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh, my God, you have a crush on Luke. And turns out he has a crush on me, too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. It's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? I, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah. I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole! That is... That is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Huh? Just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb and I would never go out with you? Luke? What? what? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we're meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this! Oh, Molly, 
it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, um, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. Ah! That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it! Mm. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. Okay, class. Today, we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly, I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're going to really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on... Don't even say his name. I don't want to hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school. And I don't care about anything. Molly, uh, you're leaving me no choice but get to give you detention. Uh-huh. Whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and, and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? Why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not thought detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in her box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away is, well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy or happiness or laughter or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point. Now, come on, Molly. Let's restore your heart. Back to your spirit. Whoa! My heart! It's back! Oh, I missed it so much! Except for that pain! Oh! Luke! Molly, try not to think of those things as much. Maybe think about the fun things, the happy things. And, well, you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. 
Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you going to let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good, even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice. Huh, it's the perfect day to sit here and do absolutely nothing. Hey, Molly, what's up? Oh, Brookie, I didn't know you were going to be around today. Yeah, I thought maybe we could hang out. Do you want to? Yeah, sure, I'll hang out. Let's ride bikes. Nah, I'm feeling really lazy today. I don't want to ride bikes. Oh, um, but I rode my bike here because I thought it would be really fun. It is like 90 degrees outside today. I am not riding bikes. Too hot. Oh, we could always go swimming in your pool. Yeah, that would be amazing, except for my dad just refilled it and the water's freezing. I don't mind cold water. Well, you would mind this. It's shocking. Come on in, Brookie. Oh, hi, Brookie. I'm just watching adorable pig videos on YouTube. Oh, hey, DZ. I just came to hang out because it's summer vacay and it's boring at my house. Well, it's not really boring here because we have tons of snacks. Molly, do you want to watch a movie in the air conditioning? Nah, I don't want to watch a movie. Molly, not to be rude or anything, but I've been noticing something. Every time Brookie comes over to our house, you never want to do what she wants to do. What? That's, that's not true. Look, we're doing what she wants to do right now, right? Just chill on the couch. Actually, Molly, I don't want to just lay here on the couch for my summer vacay. I wanted to ride bikes or go swimming or, or watch a good movie or something. Yeah, Molly, you're just nothing but a lazy bum all summer. Hey, that's rude. I can't believe my best friend and my sister would say something so mean. Well, Molly, if the shoe fits, wear it, diva. Me? A diva? I don't think so. Um, Molly, you're wearing your sunglasses inside. That uh, kind of makes you a diva. Um, I just want to be fashionable. Cool, you know? Diva, diva, diva. If you don't stop calling me a diva, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Guys, stop fighting. It's really frustrating that you guys fight all the time. I come over here to hang out with you guys and have fun and, well, <sighs> Molly, I have to tell you something. Okay, what is it? If you can't ever want to do anything I want to do, and it's just always about you, 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 then I don't know if we can be friends anymore. What? You would give up being my best friend? Well, you're not much of a best friend if all you ever do is be selfish, Molly. I'm not selfish. I mean, well, I guess I am kind of selfish. And also, summer vacation's not very really fun when all you want to do is sit around and eat Doritos. Yeah, Molly, so what's it going to be? Hum, hum, well, I'll do whatever you want for 24 hours. And I'll see if I like the things you decide to do. Seriously? You'll give me 24 hours to do whatever we want? That sounds amazing! Uh, okay, well, I don't know how it could be more amazing than just chilling out on the couch and eating Doritos, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, this is going to be good. Um, Bookie, can I see you over here? I want to talk to you about something. Hey, no secrets! Molly, I'm just going to talk to Bookie only. What did you want to tell me, Daisy? Molly is being such a selfish brat, I wouldn't blame you at all if you wanted to do things like have her take a mud bath, dress up like a giant banana for the whole town to see. <laughs> you know, fun stuff like that. Why would I be so mean, Daisy? It's not mean, it's just testing to see if she really will do whatever you want, or if she's still the selfish person we think she is. Well, you do have a point. Um, well, there's only one way to find out. Quit whispering! I know it's about me! Um, well, um, okay, Molly. Well, you said I, you would do whatever I wanted to do for 24 hours. Yeah, so quit whispering and tell me! First, I want you to turn your phone upside down and be so ridiculously happy! I 
don't know if that's humanly possible. You just really irritated me. Molly, you promised. Our friendship is on the line. Ugh, okay. I'm so ridiculously happy! Ha 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 ha! Look at me! Happy, 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 happy! How's that? Whoa, that's a little creepy. I'm not used to seeing you like that, Molly. <laughs> I'm gonna go back on my computer. Have fun, you two! Okay, so what's the first thing we're gonna do? First, you're gonna dress like a giant banana and wave to everybody in town. Wait, what? Yeah, doesn't that sound like fun? I think it'll be hilarious. Everyone will be so cheered up by your banana costume. You aren't serious right now, right? Totally I am. Are you going to do it? Our friendship is on the line. Oh, I guess. I mean, I don't want to lose my friend. Well, how do I look? <laughs> like a giant banana. <laughs> See, you're already making me super happy. Oh, boy, I feel ridiculous. Oh, yeah, this is me too good. Marley, say hi. Turn that camera off. I'm not, oh my gosh, I'm just running out of here. Running out of here. Molly, you know what would make this so much more amusing to everybody driving by? Ugh, I'm already dressed like a banana. What else do you want from me? You should do a little banana dance and sing a song. I don't know any banana songs. Um, think of one, Molly. Our friendship is on the line. I know. You keep saying that. I'm a little banana, b-b-banana. I'm a little banana, b-b-banana. OMG, is that Molly dressed up like a banana dancing? I'm a little banana, b-b-banana. I'm a little banana, b-b-banana. Um, Molly, don't look now, but um, Sarah's here. Sarah! I'm like, Waka Molly, how embarrassing! She's the biggest school bully in the world. I'll never hear the end of this. <laughs> what are you doing? Working for a banana farm or something? You look ridiculous. I'm trying to keep my best friend happy. I am happy. I'm so happy. Well, see you later, losers and the banana. <laughs> loser banana. That's what I meant. You're a loser banana! Whoa, that was just rude. What? The police? Seriously? Excuse me. Do you have a permit? A permit? Permit for what? A permit to be a banana dancing on this street. Uh, are you serious right now? You don't need to be a, a, a permit to be a banana. Actually, you do. In the town of Brookhaven, you can only be a banana on the street dancing if you have a permit. Oh boy, Molly. I think you just got a really big ticket. $500? $500? Are you kidding me? Are you talking back to me right now? Cause I could make that ticket 600 banana. No, I'll just pay it. All of my life savings goes to being your friend now, Brookie. I hope you're happy. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, Molly. Maybe we should do something more fun than, um, than humiliating me as a banana on the street? Yeah, definitely that. Come on, let's go back to your house and we'll do something actually fun. Fun sounds like sitting on the couch and eating Doritos. No, Molly, something actually fun, like riding a bike or something. Ugh, fine. As long as I can take this banana suit off, I'm sweating. Okay, let's ride bikes. Okay, if that's what you want to do. But, ugh, this zipper seems to be stuck on this banana costume. Can you help me out of it? Sure, let me just see if I can get the zipper. Uh-oh, Molly, I can't get the zipper either. What? I'm stuck in this banana costume? Well, let me go see if I can get some scissors out of the kitchen. Oh my gosh, I'll have to cut myself out of this banana costume. Um, Molly, the banana costume's rented. You can't cut it or it'll cost us $500. Really? I don't have another $500. I have this ticket for being a banana. Now I'm gonna get a, uh, I'm gonna have to buy this banana costume? Oh my gosh, this is the most ridiculous day ever. And everybody wonders why I want to be in charge of what we do. Well, um, um, maybe we could just like put some butter on you and you could slide out of it. Oh, I hate my life right now. I hate my life right now! Please have butter. Please have butter. Oh my god, we're out of butter! Oh no, how am I ever gonna get out of this banana costume? Well, I do have this leftover popcorn from the movies last night. That's pretty buttery. We could probably just smear the popcorn all over you and you could slide right out. Oh my gosh! 
Have I said I hated my life today? Have I said it? Molly, don't eat the popcorn. We need that for the butter. I'm just hungry. I need something to eat and I'm stressed out. Sometimes I stress eat. Ay, yeah, yeah, Molly. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna rub all this popcorn all over me and, and, ah, thank goodness I'm out of the banana costume. Now, come on, let's go ride bikes. I wanna go lay on the couch. That was the worst day ever. Why are you making me dress like a banana anyway? It was just rude and I didn't like it. It wasn't even fun. Molly, you promised for 24 hours. And okay, I admit, the banana idea was Daisy's. Wait, what? Yeah, she wanted to see if you were actually going to do things for me because she said you're very selfish. Well, are you happy now? Are you satisfied? I had to rub popcorn butter all over me. And I got a $500 ticket. Yes, Molly, now we're just gonna go have real fun together. Ugh, I don't want to, but I guess because you're still my best friend and I don't wanna lose you as my friend. All right, come on, it's gonna be fun, Molly. Now, come on, put a smile on. You're, you're pushing me too far, Brookie. I don't wanna put a smile on. No, smile, ever! Whoa, Molly, your bike is so cool. I've never seen it before. That's because I hardly ever come out to ride my bike. Oh no, there's a police officer. Okay, I'm going downtown because I definitely do not need to get another ticket for something. Whee! Okay, I have to admit, this is actually kind of fun. I told you, Molly, I knew you were gonna love it. Well, don't let it go to your head. I'm sure I'll be tired soon enough and wanna go home and just eat Doritos. Um, well, we could go swimming if you want. We could go back and go to the um, pool or something. Um, yeah, why not? It's your 24 hours. As long as I don't have to go as a giant banana. Ugh, it's pretty hot. That water looks really refreshing. We don't have our bathing suits, Molly. Oh, yeah, that's true. We should probably just go home. Nonsense! We'll just jump in right with our, our regular clothes on. It'll be fine. Are you sure? Yeah, you go up the diving board and I'll go down the slide. Okay. <laughs> Whatever she wants for 24 hours, I have to say yes. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> OMG, that was so much fun. <laughs> police again don't worry molly you're not dancing and singing on the street as a banana anymore i'm sure you can't get in trouble for not having a permit hi officer what's going on what's going on is that you're in the community pool without proper attire what it's not like i'm swimming naked or something i've got my clothes on i know but you're going to clog up all the filters in the community pool by wearing your shoes and clothes in you're supposed to be wearing a bathing suit. No socks, no shoes. Go read the sign. Um, well, we didn't know, but she'll get right out. Yeah, see, I'm, I'm right out of the pool. Huh. So, um, wait, what's that? It's a ticket, and you have to pay it. $500? What? That's the cost of having all the threads from your clothes taken out of the pool filter. Have a nice day. Oh, why is she saying have a nice day? She wrote me tickets for $1,000 today. And now you see why I sit on the couch and eat Doritos. But Molly, didn't you have fun? I mean, a little bit? Ugh, yeah, I did. <laughs> Even if I got a bunch of tickets and look like a total fool in front of the school bully. Excuse me, you still look like a fool. Has she been standing there that whole time? Um, no, it looks like she's in her car, Molly, and driving the block just to see you get the ticket. Oh, Sarah! Well, at least we're still BFFs. Really? You still want to be my best friend even though I've been really selfish? Yeah, Molly, after today and how devoted you were to me, there's no one I'd rather be my best friend. Oh, Brookie. Now, will you do the banana dance again? Are you serious right now? No, I'm not going to do the banana dance! Molly, I still have a few more minutes of my 24 hours. Oh, okay. I'm a banana, but but banana. I'm a mama banana, but but banana. 